Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can automatically deploy cluster in Azure Databricks. Now, when I'm saying we can automate automatically deploy clusters in Databricks, I essentially mean that. So let's say when you go to uh, your Databricks UI, through UI, you have an option to create a cluster, right? You can directly go ahead and click this option of creating a cluster, and then you can provide the configurations and uh, you can create a cluster out of it, right? Now, if you don't want to go through this whole manual process and you want to automatically deploy it, then how you can do that? So this is what we are going to discuss today. So stay tuned. So guys, whenever you click on this create cluster option, you are actually uh, supposed to provide a set of configurations, right? Now, once you have provided this configurations, if you see on the right hand side, you are shown with these two options ui and this json so if you go ahead and click on this json you will actually get a json file where all the configurations which you have defined will uh, be shown up in a json format so let's go ahead and click this option now once you click on this option you can actually see that uh, my whole cluster configuration i can see it in a json format so you can actually copy this and save it somewhere this will help us in automatically creating the cluster you can create this json file by yourself or through ui once you provide the options uh, to the cluster and then you can go ahead click on the json on the right hand side and get the json out of it so guys once you have uh, you know that json structure so let's say uh, you know what you see on the screen is azure devops now now i am inside my devops repo right i am inside my devops repo i am inside my development branch let's say or any feature branch which you want to in this i have defined a folder named as cluster configuration so this is uh, up to you how you want to define the class uh, how you want to define the structure so basically i have copied the json file into a create cluster dot json right so and i have copied it so the name of my cluster is my api bhavna and these are the configurations. So these are the basic configurations that I have taken for this demo. So you can provide any X, Y, Z configuration over here. So this is the place where you will actually paste those, paste the JSON, which you have taken from the Databricks UI. Now, once you have defined the cluster configuration in the create cluster.json file, you can actually go ahead and create a YAML file. Now, what this YAML file is going to do? right in the same uh, repository you can keep a create cluster.yaml you can name it anything i have named it as create cluster.yaml file in this yaml file you are actually going to tell that hey go to this particular location take my create a cluster.json file and deploy it into the databricks right and deploy it into the databricks now if you see my create cluster part so trigger equal to none, PR branch include dev, develop. So right now in my develop branch, so if there is any, uh, you know, let's say PR or there is any change in, uh, in the develop branch in this particular path cluster config. So this cluster in this cluster config, I have created a JSON file. So the moment I, uh, you know, uh, add a new JSON file or uh, if I change the existing one, right, the moment I do that, this a uh, yaml file should act actually execute it is what it means right this is a sam this is a simple yaml file you can go ahead and check out what is yaml file on the internet it is very well available and it is a very simple readable code now uh, after that i am just in the steps i am just trying to you know uh, uh, install um, pip right and I'm trying to install Databricks CLI. I'm trying to install uh, wheel and set up tools into my pool. When I say pool, so this YAML file will actually run somewhere, right? So where it will run? So it will run in the pool, which I have, uh, which I have mentioned over here. So this is the default Linux pool. So I want to run this YAML file on this default uh, Linux pool. And I want before, before running it, I want these things to get installed, right? So that is why I'm using pip command to install the Databricks CLI, which is the most important part over here, right? You have to install Databricks CLI before continuing this. Now, once you have installed 
all the uh, packages which you wanted to install after that ignore these comments so these are in the green these are all comments so after that you are providing your databricks host and token in form of a variable so these are variables i will tell you where exactly you can store this so if you don't want to keep it as a variable you can actually define uh, it in the script itself the exact your databricks host and token so databricks host is nothing it is actually the url of your databricks and databricks token you can go to the databricks and you can create a token so this is the authentication this is the authentication for your this piece of code to know that where you have to go right in which databricks host which databricks token uh, username and password uh, kind of thing for your databricks that you go here and deploy my cluster over here now once your authentication is complete over here then then i am running again a bash command which name uh, uh, the name of which is create cluster and i am running this script so this is a one liner script databricks clusters create json file right so i am asking it to go and create cluster using this json file and this json file is placed over here in cluster configuration create cluster dot json so this is a script that i want to run automatically whenever you know i make any change to the create cluster.yaml file now once you have defined these files and you have placed these files in the repository you want to build a pipeline which will actually run so on the left hand side if you go and if you click on these pipelines over here then you can go ahead just click on this pipelines and then uh, you will be able to create a pipeline in which you will call this yaml file to run so now once you click on this pipeline icon you can actually see this is where you land up right so you already have a yaml file in the git repo and you want to automatically execute so we'll click on the first option over here and after ch choosing your repository you can you will just have to you know provide the path to your file right so since you have an existing uh, yaml file so you'll just click on this existing azure yaml file option over here so the moment you click on this part you will be actually asked to select the branch and the path for your file now guys you can see that i have selected my branch i have selected the path where my cluster.yaml code resides and then like hit on continue now the moment you hit on continue you will see that this is the pipeline that i have created right this is the whole pipeline that i have created now on the right hand side you can see this variable option so the databricks host and token which uh, we have not uh, you know directly mentioned in the code you can directly mention in the yaml file itself but if you don't want to mention it in the yaml file directly you can go here in the variables part and you can add a new variable over here so the name of the variable will be databricks host and you will provide the value for databricks host and similar way you will uh, write databricks token and you will provide the value for the databricks token right this is one way of adding a variable apart from that there is one more way of adding a variable that i will tell you uh, in the end so i have already used the second part i'll explain you how we can what is the second way of adding a variable so let's first go ahead and this is the pipeline and let's try to run this pipeline right let's try to save it and run it so now i have clicked on run part and you can see on the right it say is creating pipeline and it is running right now this job has started right it it is queued now it will run now guys you can see that uh, this has started running and these are the different different steps i'll quite zoom it so these are the different different steps that were that were actually uh, present in my yaml file create yaml file right create uh, cluster dot yaml file it was present i wanted to install the packages i wanted to install databricks cli then i wanted to create a cluster right so my this job has successfully executed now we will go back to our databricks instance and see whether the cluster has been created or not so now guys i am in my databricks instance and you can see that my api cluster underscore bhavna it is spinning up right this is this has started uh, you know to uh, it has started to spin up the cluster that i tried to create so this is how you automatically deploy the cluster onto a databricks instance now coming on to where you can uh, deploy the variable so i have already deployed my variables right um, in to a group 
So when I say into a group, if you go, go to the pipelines over here, then there's an option of library. So now once you click on this option of library, you can actually create a variable group and you can name it any X, Y, Z, whatever you want to. And then you can start adding your variable. So when you click on add here, you can add your Databricks host. Then again, you can add your Databricks token and this variable group name. You can actually define it in the YAML file. And that is what I have done. So if you see if you see this uh, YAML file again, so I have mentioned group, right? And this is the group name that I have specified. So it will automatically take Databricks host and token from this variable. So in case I do not create a group, then in that case, I can directly mention my variables over here or while creating a pipeline. Also, you have an option to create uh, add variables that also I have shown you. And you can still see that my cluster is spinning. It might take two to three minutes to spin up and start the cluster. So this is how your automated deployment of cluster happens. Now, in case you want to, you do not know how to generate a token. In that case, if you go on the right hand side of your Databricks instance into the user settings, there is an option to generate a new token. So this is where you can go ahead and generate a new token. This uh, token you can only see for one time. So the moment you generate the token, you have to copy it and uh, then you can save it anywhere and then you can go ahead and use it. So this is how basically you deploy your uh, deploy your clusters automatically into the Databricks and this is my cluster and now you can see that it is in running state, right? So I hope you like this video. Do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts in this area. I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like, subscribe and share.